<laughs> Unlucky, you <laughs> fool! <laughs> hey, I bet that cures him, eh? Hello, my name is Megan Ruth, I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Rising Damp, Series 1, Episode 6. I have reacted to the previous episodes previously, so if you wanted to go check those out, I have a playlist devoted to it, I'll post the link down below. Unlike the majority of my reactions, this video will not be edited and it will not be censored, but I do want to thank my patrons for supporting me. My Patreon is my members only site where you get benefits such as early access to my videos and my complete unedited, uncensored reactions action videos. And if you're a top tier patron, patron shout out. So thank you to Joseph, Michael, Mitch, Brian, James, Daniel, Des, John, Reese, Kane, Thomas, Seamus, Robson, James, A, Gems, Andy, and Des C. Let's just get started, shall we? Vienna, come on, Willie, you don't want to stay out in this, it's getting foggy. Come on, this is the night the cat men come. <laughs> come on, come on, you don't want to end up stretched across a tennis racket, do you? Oh. God, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, God, I might have known it. You'll get those ears torn off one of these nights. They're like clothes, pigs as it is. <sighs> no wonder you haven't got the strength to get out of that chair all day. You're lucky. <laughs> It was awful just now in my room. I saw the shadow. Oh, you better sit down. You've gone ashen. <laughs> I feel quite faint. Okay, you're all right, Miss Jones. Should I loosen your clothing? No, no, no. <laughs> that won't be necessary. <laughs> Perhaps if you put your head between your knees. I always think that looks so ungainly, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> Besides, I feel much better now. Oh, well, 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 what happened? Well, I got up to get some water for my red tablets. I turned round, and at the window I saw the shadow and these horrible staring eyes. That's when I screamed. I covered my face and screamed. Ah! When I looked again, he'd gone. Ah. <laughs> well, he's certainly not up here now, Miss Jones. Are you quite sure you saw someone? I mean, you know, the light can play very funny tricks, you know. Well, of course I'm sure. I saw those horrible staring eyes. Could it have been a reflection? Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> You don't believe me, Mr. Rixby. No, 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 of course I believe you, Miss Jones. You know, I just, uh, just wondered how he could have got up here. You know, there's no drain pipe. I don't know how he got up here. Perhaps he used a trampoline. Perhaps he's a nocturnal pole vaulter. Oh, I know that he was in my room. Yes, 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 no, all right, Miss Jones. No, no, you, you, you must, you must try and keep calm, Miss Jones. You've had a very nasty shock, but you must keep calm. Question is, where is he now? You don't think he's still out there? Well, he could be. Then again, he could be in the house. Oh, Mr. Rixby? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I should leave your side tonight, Miss Jones. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, what was he doing up here in your room? You don't mean? Oh, he didn't come up here just to leave a box of milk tray, did he? <laughs> huh? I mean, you could have been another victim of the permissive society. Are there really people like that, Mr. Rigsby? Oh, Rixby? you'd be amazed. There's a lot of it about, Miss Jones. <laughs> yes. yes, I wonder why those two didn't come down when you scream. I suppose they could be in bed. Yeah, they'll be suffering from another energy crisis. You mean they've no heating? No, I mean they've no energy. <laughs> I'll, just, uh, I'll just have a quick look around, Miss Jones. Now, you can... Things never change. Things never change in Great Britain when it comes to energy. Energy crisis. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Keep your door locked up. Will you be careful, Mr. Rigsby? Don't worry, Miss Jones. I'm not easily frightened. <laughs> And after Anzio, every day is a bonus. <laughs> I don't know what this place is coming to. Miss Jones has just had an intruder. What? Yeah, she's very upset about it. Why, did he get away? <laughs> look, look, it's not funny. A respectable woman can't get a night's sleep without some sex maniac bursting in. Ma, hey, where's your mate? He's having a bath. Oh, he's always having a bath. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a bath, Rigsby. <sighs> How would you know? You've been here six months. The name hasn't gone off your soap yet. <laughs> I sometimes think he only keep it in that bathroom as a status symbol. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I suppose he is having a bath. Of course. You're not suggesting it was Philip. Uh, but did she say it was Philip? No, no, it was too dark. She couldn't distinguish his features. Well, she wouldn't, would she? As long as he remembered not to smile. <laughs> Philip's not like that. We don't know what he's like. But he's no different from me. That's no recommendation. <laughs> but just because he's black, Rigsby, I mean, we're all the same underneath. 
We're all 70% water. You speak for yourself. <laughs> it's true, we're all 70% water. 70% so we lose all over the floor. <laughs> I like that. We're all 70% water. I'm going to use that next time someone is prejudiced to someone. I'm going to use that. We're all 70% water. <laughs> and we're not all the same underneath either. Yes, we are. Oh, all right, all right. If we're all the same, if they're the same as us, why do they always break down on the M1? <laughs> do they? Haven't you seen them? Staring with child like bewilderment at the steam and radiators? <laughs> of course they're not the same. They can never be the... And we didn't have any of this trouble before he came here either. Oh, you're being ridiculous, Rigsby. Mm. I suppose it needn't have been him down there. Well, I'm glad you admit it. Could have been you. <laughs> oh, now, hold on. I've got examinations. I ain't got time for things like that. Mm. Oh, not much. Look at this. My hey! God. You've only got to turn to the first page. One with the gravy stains on. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the silken sheets, the contours of a firm young body. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad for your eyes, don't you? <laughs> what? Small print. <laughs> This book has considerable literary merit. Considerable literary. That's hard porn, that is, mate. Handed over at midnight under a plain wrapper. Oh, God, no wonder the woman's not safe anymore. Oh, there you are. What's the matter? Ruth's had an intruder. What? Yes. She saw this dark, shadowy figure in her room. Well, I reckon the only way he could have got into her room was by the stairs. Now, I'm just checking up on everybody, all right? A spooner. Couldn't be him, because he's away at Wolverhampton wrestling. He won't be back till two. Anyway, he's frightened of the dark. <laughs> and, uh, that just leaves the people in this room. Yes, I see what you mean. Where were you when this happened, Rigsby? No, I was just uh, putting... Hey, uh, listen, mate, I'm the one asking the question, all right? <laughs> My God, what a country. Oh, I suppose it wouldn't happen in your country. No, not with the skinning men. <laughs> skinning men, were they? We hand people like that over to the skinning men, and they skin them. But you mean alive? Well, of course. There wouldn't be much point if they weren't alive. <laughs> so now they're not supposed to break the skin. It's considered unlucky. Unlucky? You fuck! <laughs> hey, I bet that cures him, eh? <laughs> I bet they don't feel like sliding down the drain pipes after that. <laughs> yes. We could do with the skinny men over here, I reckon. <laughs> well, don't look at us, Rigsby. We're studying. We haven't got time for things like that, have we, Philip? Of course oh, not. No, no, the bloke who had the room before you, he was studying. Oh, very studious he was. Oh, busy, busy. Uh, busy making the hole. What hole? Hole in the floor. <laughs> Miss Jones underneath, getting undressed, ready for bed one night. Covered all over in pasta. Had his hot little light and his hole in the floor. I moved him on after that. <laughs> Why? Wasn't there room for both of you? <laughs> Where is this hole? It's said. Uh, no, mind your own business. <laughs> This intruder might be a burglar, you know. What? Yeah, he could be after all that money you've got under the floorboards. Look, I've told you before, I haven't got any money under the floorboards. I'm a poor man, always have. Look, you don't fool anybody with that tattered appearance, Rigsby. We all know about a miser's hoard. It's probably a London mob. I'll, I'll just uh, have a quick, uh, you know, look round. You'd better be on the, on the safe side. <laughs> Constable Baker, Regional Crime Squad. I hope you don't mind, sir, but you left your front door open. It's a bit unwise this time of night, especially as we've heard reports of a prowler being in the vicinity. Oh, a prowler? You haven't seen him, have you, sir? Uh, no, no, but Miss, Miss Jones uh, downstairs has. Uh, he was in her room. She actually saw him? Yes. Well, I mean, just his shadow, you know. I thought it was one of them across the hall. Have you checked to see if there's anything missing? Uh, just going to. Yes, I would say. It's important to know what type of villain we're looking for. Yes. Just me holiday money. <laughs> Is it all there, sir? Hang on. <laughs> yeah, should, should, I, should I put it back? Yes, I don't see why not, sir. Better than unit trusts. <laughs> we'll all be needing a little hole like that. Things go on as they are. Of course, he may not be after money. You say he was in Miss Jones' room? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'd better go and see her, then after that I'll question the others. For all we know, the prowler may live in this house. Yes. 
Oh, don't be alarmed, Miss Jones. This gentleman's a police officer. Oh, I'm so relieved. You don't know how glad I am to see you, officer. I'd just like to ask a few questions. Of course, questions, I knew you Mr. were a policeman. You look so clean cut. <laughs> <laughs> and resolute. Don't you think so, Mr. Rigsby? Can't say I've noticed. <laughs> I'm sure you'll soon catch him. You look so determined. Yeah. And then what'll happen, eh? I suppose they'll pat him on the head, tell him not to be a naughty boy. He'll be remanded for a report, and there'll be three doctors saying he had trouble with his potty in early infancy. <laughs> if you don't mind, sir, I'd like to ask Miss Jones a few questions in private. Of course. I'll be outside. <laughs> now, Miss. Do you want me on the city? <laughs> yes, Miss. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Oh my god there's oh that line was perfect it's so innocent that it's 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 such an innocent line but it is also so not innocent like it's that was a brilliant line and she and, and she said it so well oh wow genius ask me as many questions as you like thank you miss <laughs> I once went out with a policeman. Oh, really? Some years ago. Uh -huh. Of course, it didn't last. Yes, of he course. He would wear his uniform all the time. <laughs> People thought I was being arrested. Well, I wonder if... I had to keep don't... swinging my arms to show we weren't handcuffed together. I see. And he was in constant touch by shortwave radio. <laughs> it was very distressing in a tender moment to hear he was investigating suspicious movements at the rear of the high street. <laughs> Where are you going? I think I'll take a look around. Hey, you be careful. You're already under suspicion. But I was having a bath. I know. I've told him that. But you know what he's like. Actually, I thought he suspected you. Oh, no. It was you he suspected. Well, that whole thing's ridiculous. Well, of course it is. Who wants to see Miss Jones in her harvest festivals? Quite. <laughs> Where were you when this happened, Alan? I was up here. Oh, my word, a minute. I was here all the time. <laughs> Here now. Oh, no, not the police. Mm. What's the matter? Your library book over to you. <laughs> By the time you had a bit of law and order around here, anyway. Where's your mate? Packing his bags? <laughs> no. He better watch out. He's going to see British justice at work now. Painstaking and implacable. The police force are just the tools of the establishment, Rigsby. Sent here to perpetuate the capitalist system. Uh, that's because they caught you riding without lights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's taken a statement from Miss Jones. He'll be up here to ask you a few questions in a minute. You better straighten yourself up. Keep your hands out of your pockets. You think you'll believe me if I keep my hands out of my pockets? <laughs> hey, you watch it. You might get your collar felt before the night's out. <laughs> Taking a statement from the lady. Now, where are the others? Uh, upstairs. I wouldn't trust either of them. Why? What do they do? As little as possible. <laughs> Supposed to be students. Students? Yes, I thought that'd furry your brow. Real pair of troublemakers. There's nothing I like better than rolling marbles under police horses. <laughs> I wonder if I know them. Yes, you probably do. One of them's got long hair and surgical boots. The other one's black with tribal marks. <laughs> <laughs> he could turn nasty if it's a full moon. Now, look. If he gives you any trouble, kick him in the groin. They're sensitive there. All right. So am I, sir. Just like me. <laughs> Looking for something, sir? Now, sir, you were up here at the time of the incident. Yes. Is there anyone can substantiate that? Well, no. Ah. And you didn't hear the scream? No. Uh, not surprised all that foliage. You can hardly see little only. <laughs> Bloody sheep, dog. Please, Mr. Rigsby. See, that's what he's got against me. He doesn't trust me because I've got long hair. <laughs> well, I didn't trust Hitler, but it wasn't because of his moustache. <laughs> Please, sir. I'm just trying to ask a few questions. Yes, of course. <laughs> Suppose you get pretty lonely up here, sir. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, no, not, not, not really. <sighs> you sure you're getting enough exercise? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I go for walks late at night. 
<laughs> oh, well, no, not too late. Uh, quite early, really. <laughs> I understand you're a student, sir. Yes. What are you studying? Not divinity, I hope. <laughs> Actually, I'm studying medicine. It's very worthy. A real vocation. He'll never make a doctor. He lies on that bed all day protesting about unemployment. Gets his orders straight from the Kremlin. <laughs> yeah. do, do you know what they're going to do when they get in power? They're going to hang me from the nearest lamppost. He's told me that already. And I fought to save democracy. Hey, hey, we, we said we wanted land fit for heroes. What do we get, eh? Streakers. <laughs> There's nothing shameful in the human body, Rigsby. Yeah, but we, we don't want it in the middle of bloody Woolworths, do we? <laughs> I mean, well, what's the country coming to, eh? I mean, suppose you're taking your mother out. Yeah, a first walk in the spring sunshine, leaning on her stick, admiring the flowers, and what happens, eh? Some silly sod comes dashing out of the bush and start making with flowers in her. It's enough to give it a heart attack. All right, sir. Yeah, we won't pay for this lot, you know. You know, we're, we're keeping these students. It's supposed to be the cream of the country. What do we get, eh? Football hooligans in sandals. My son happens to be a student, sir. Hey. <laughs> Well, you know, of course, there are some nice ones. Yes. Bound to be, yes. Some, some, some decent lads, some, 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 some very nice lads. Do you smoke? I don't normally, sir, but uh, thank you. Tipped. <laughs> thank you, sir. Now, sir, have you ever been in trouble with us before? Yes. I see. And what was that for? Or summons for having a faulty rear light. <laughs> well, we hardly call that form, sir. What, what, what you looking for, eh? Prints, pieces of fibre, strand of air, eh? Well, as a matter of fact, I was looking for an ashtray. <laughs> I think it might be an idea if we go down to Miss Jones' room. Ah, there. returning to the scene of the crime, eh? No, actually, I thought it'd be warmer down there. <laughs> and I want to ask Miss Jones a few more questions, if you just follow me. Yes, right. Hey, so he's playing it cool, eh? What do you mean? He knows who it is. Gonna confront him with the principal witness. Normal police tactics. Can't you feel the net tightening? Come on. <laughs> oh, well, have you solved the mystery? Uh, not yet, miss. And who is this gentleman? Oh, this is Mr. Smith. He's from Africa. You didn't think he was from the Arctic, did you? <laughs> He's the son of a chief. Oh, really? I hope you're settling in all right here, sir. Uh, yes, thank you. Not too cold for you? <laughs> Aren't you going to ask him any questions? Please, Mr. Rigsby, I'm conducting this investigation. Investigation? It's more like a diplomatic exchange. <laughs> if we'd have been this country, we'd have been over to the skinny men long before this year. <laughs> we'd have been down to the bone by now. Why, why don't you ask him where he was when it happened? I was having a bath. Well, there'd hardly be any witness to that, would there, sir? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'd have done better with security, girl. <laughs> Now, Miss Jones, I know you said the intruder was in shadow, but is there anything you can tell us about him? Only those horrible staring eyes. Oh, yes. Those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you haven't noticed anything suspicious in the last couple of days. I mean, nobody's followed you home. Nobody's made advances. No. <laughs> oh, there was a man on the train. He had a leather jacket with his name on the back. Steve, I think it was. Yes, miss. He was singing. They tried to tell us we're too young. His eyes were burning into me. Well, what happened? He began experimenting with the light switch, so I moved to another compartment. I thought he might have been a hell's angel. Oh, that's hardly likely, miss. They usually travel around on motorbikes. <laughs> well, I thought he might have had a puncture. Of course, he need not be an outsider. He could be someone in this room. Oh, no, it's a well-known fact. We're in greater danger from the people we know. Yeah. There's many a woman expected to receive a warm embrace, only to feel the slash of cold steel. Oh. <laughs> a real bundle of fun, you are, aren't you? <laughs> well, since nothing was missing, we'll have to look for darker motives. <laughs> now, I want to conduct a little experiment. Will you gentlemen line up over here, please? No, don't you look, please, Miss Jones. Now, we'll have the lights out. And then I want you to touch the man most like the prowler. Oh, uh, well, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's like Paul Temple. Yes. Just keep your eyes closed. Hey, uh, this isn't an identity parade, is it? Why? What are you frightened of? Well, I've been on one of them before. Oh? Uh -huh. What was that for? Well, I, I don't know. I just lined up with these other fellas and this uh, girl came along the line and when she got to me, she burst into tears. <laughs> but they questioned me for two hours and I only went there to claim my fountain pen. <laughs> She's shifty criminal face. No, it isn't. It's because everyone else had donkey jackets on. <laughs> Would somebody please put the lights out? Right, miss, off you go. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> no, miss, that's me. Would you just start again, please? Yes. I should say this one. Right. <laughs> hey, hang on, just a minute. Wait a minute, what would... You, uh, you, you couldn't, you couldn't possibly... Don't get worried, sir. I'm just trying to build up a picture. Nothing personal. Well, I should hope not. Now, where were you exactly when you heard the scream? I was at the... I thought you said there was nothing personal. <laughs> sir, I wonder if this has any significance. I found it outside below the window. Ah, uh, comb. Couple of teeth missing. Very dirty. Yeah, just what you'd expect. Could be the breakthrough, eh? Looks like yours, Rigsby. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, I, I, I must have, uh, must have uh, dropped it, you know, when I was, uh, <coughs> when I was cleaning the windows. Uh, what are you all staring at? Would you excuse us for a few moments, please? Yes, of course. I'd like to ask Mr. Rigsby a few more questions. Yes. <laughs> Sit down, Rigsby. What happened to the mister all of a sudden? Just a few questions. <laughs> Nothing personal. Not much. You shouldn't be asking me questions. You should be out there with them. Look, I, I'm a rape, but I'm a respectable member of this community. Just a few questions. Oh, yeah. Don't you want to help? Help? Help the police? What does that ever get you, eh? Trouble. Listen, I, I've helped the police before. Listen, listen. I, I, saw, I saw a woman knocked down once. It was late at night. She was riding a bike. She didn't have any lights on, but it wouldn't made any difference because the drive was slewed. <laughs> when I went across, she was lying in the gutter. I told the driver what I thought of him, then I went in the box, phoned for the ambulance. While I was in there, the rotten sod got in his car, <laughs> drove off, hadn't even got his number. Well, you didn't pass by as, on the other side. As, uh, just a minute, I haven't finished yet, have I? As I was coming out of the box, the woman got up, shook herself, jumped on a bike, pedalled off down the road. She went like the wind. Nobody could have caught up with her. When the police and the ambulance came, I was the only one there. So what happened? They arrested me for being drunk and disorderly. <laughs> I see, sir. Uh, do you live alone here? Yes. I suppose you get rather lonely. No, I don't. Is there a... Thinking about it, Rick, that is the perfect description of a criminal. Like, if you were to give his character description, he would, he would fit in the character bracket of a criminal or a type, like traits and all that. Um... So that's actually quite funny. <laughs> and he's incriminating himself, like, 100%. So it's hilarious. Mrs. Rigsby? Go well, she's gone. You mean disappeared? No, I mean gone. She left me. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> ah, it was a big mistake. We got married during wartime. You know, glamour of the uniform. <laughs> yeah, we are on ration then. Been on ration ever since. <laughs> I suppose you realise I have to ask these questions. The question? These are, these, are, these are not questions. This is the third degree, isn't it? You've made your mind up, haven't you? What? Hey, when are you going to get it over with? When are you going to slip the bracelets on? I suppose you'll take me down the station and knock hell out of me. Oh, Mr. <laughs> hey, oh, what are you going to do? Hit me when it doesn't show and I'm going to have one of those nasty accidents in the cell door. Well, we don't do things like that. You keep Mr. your hands off me, you fascist. <laughs> Got to spend five years fighting blokes like you. The only difference was they were covered in swastikas. Five years honourable for king and country and you don't even believe a word I say. But I do. What? I do believe you. Do you? Of course. I think I'm a pretty good judge of character, Mr. Rigsby. You don't spend 20 years in the force without knowing when someone's telling the truth. I go by the face. You're an honest man, Mr. Rigsby, I can tell that. <laughs> if there were a few more around like you, we'd be out of a job. Well, better make a search of the area. Oh, you're not going in. Yes, I'm not going to find the man in this house. I'll just go upstairs and check all the windows and everything, and don't worry about me, I'll see myself out. But I've always said our police are the best in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bixby. Good night, sir. Good night, officer. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what happened, Mr. Rixby? <laughs> you know what he said to me? He, he, he said I was an honest man. He could tell by my face. Oh. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me, then. <laughs> Can't make many arrests, can he? <laughs> Yes, sir, mate. It's blokes like that at the backbone of this country. What's that? What? There's somebody on the landing. It must be the prowlers coming in. Here, to the door. You, you keep away, you. We've called the police. Don't be silly, sir. We are the police. <laughs> oh, thank you, pardon. <laughs> Oh, sorry to trouble you, but we're looking for a man who's been entering the houses in this facility. Oh, yes, we know all about him. Yes, we know all about him. Well, we'd like you to keep your eye open for him. Yes, uh, he's medium height, five foot ten. 
clean shaven with fairly long brown hair. Yeah. Now he's known to be posing as a detective. Yeah. So Mr. Jones had him down there rubbing his Oh my god, me box, me box! <laughs> in the episode I didn't say it but I had the thought of like I wonder if he was the intruder huh I guess my intuition was right <laughs> very clever I like it yeah very funny episode too anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already see you next time bye